Hey everyone, Dr. Troy Dukwitz here. It's Whiteboard Wednesday, and I've got a thought that I want to dive right into. This comes off the heels of just losing a patient. His name was Mel. He passed away last week. We just went to his celebration of life last night. And one really cool, interesting concept that the sermon, that was brought up during the sermon, was that there's one time in life when we are all the guest of honor. And I think there's two, first of all. I think there's that point when you're born, uh, when you're the guest of honor. You don't really know about it, but you probably see pictures later in life, and that's when people are coming around and doting on you. And then there is that time when we pass. Now, the time in the middle might be a time where you've got an award or something like that, where maybe you have been the guest of honor, but there's that, that closing uh, scene, right? There's that last scene when you're no longer here that you become the guest of honor. And there's two things that come up here. You know, First of all, we know we're born to live and born to die. and and what matters is what we do at that time in the middle. How we act, how we treat others. It doesn't matter how much money you made at that point. It doesn't matter um, you know, how many, if you're a chiropractor, how many visits a week you saw, or how many new patients you had. What matters is who you were. As I was at this funeral last night, what people were talking about is they were talking about the man. I was honored to be able to stand up and talk about Mel. And as I was speaking, people were shaking their heads and smiling because we all knew him to be the man I was speaking of. Just recently, there was a, a baseball player, Jose Fernandez, who died uh, suddenly in a, in a boating accident down in Florida. And everyone talked about, they didn't talk about his money. They didn't talk about his fame. Everyone talked about what a magnificent human being he was. Now, that's a great place to start in terms of leaving a legacy behind, don't you think? And yes, we all want to create an impact, but the impact comes from you being who you are. That's where it starts. So this, yes, you wanna have a big vision for this life, but not based on what other people think about you, based on you being true to who you are, by being real and raw and authentic in who you are every single day, regardless of the opinions of others. There are some people who will like us. There are other people who won't like us. But what matters in the end is that we stay true to who we are, that we identify what our values are, what we stand for, and every single day go out to live by that value system. When you have clarity of who you are and you're living with that clarity every day, I gotta tell you, in my book, that's one of the greatest ways to live and to be successful. So if you say that you're a person of action, then every day you check yourself and you go out and make sure that you're a person of action. If you say that you're a person who inspires, then you find ways to go out and inspire. If you say that you're a person who treats your family like they're gold, you know, then you're a person who you gotta make sure every day that you're living by those code of values. Notice what I'm saying here. It doesn't matter what everyone else says. It doesn't want, matter what everybody else wants you to do. What matters is what do you want? And then make sure you're living that way so that when you become the guest of honor and the words that people are saying about you on that particular day, they're shaking their heads and going, that is exactly how he or she lived. That is exactly the person that I loved so much. So what's the action step you can take here? Take time to sit down and write down, you know, what are the key words? What are the values that you live by? And what are the things that, you know, if you really want to fast forward, go to that time in the future, call it 50 years from now, 60 years from now, 70 years from now, and say, okay, here we are. We're at my funeral. What are people saying about me? And are you living that way today? It's easy to write the easy words, right? And go, yeah, I live that way. But are you living that way congruently every single day? Are you worried about what everybody else thinks? Are you trying to fit into the mold of what everybody else is doing? Or are you shining and feeling blessed for who you are? So take that step today. Sit down, identify your values, make sure that you're living by those core values that you have in your life. And make sure you're living like a guest of honor every day. And celebrate this life because if there's one thing that I learned from this reminder in Mel, life is too damn short and it can be over before you know it. So be real. Be authentic and be you. God bless you all. This is Dr. Troy Dukowitz, OIA Coaching's Whiteboard Wednesday. Be blessed. Have a great day.